lurking in the trees, benches, and sidewalks around the city. These small, furry, and quiet creatures actually look kind of cute and cuddly, but don't let their exteriors fool you. That pain was undescribable. And it was probably the worst pain I've ever been through. Carl Mischler remembers when he was stung by a puss moth caterpillar decades ago. Seven, eight years old, I brushed up against one of them, and it stung me so bad I thought it was the end of the world, pretty much. I'm in my 50s now, so it's quite a while back, so that kind of pain I'd never forget. The caterpillar measures only about an inch or two in length, but beneath its coat of hairs are venomous little stingers. That can be excruciatingly painful, and I'm going to say that because I've actually been bitten by a snake before, and I got bitten by a caterpillar, and the caterpillar bite was much more painful than the snake bite. Most people have never even noticed them. Have you ever seen one of those before? No. That is really creepy. <laughs> never seen you move so fast. <laughs> but experts say the puss moth caterpillar is one of four common stinging caterpillars in Louisiana. If stung, don't move around a lot. Use tape at the site to perhaps get some of the small hairs out that you don't see. Take a Benadryl, uh, particularly if you know that you have uh, bad reactions to stings, and put ice on the site. But you also can have systemic symptoms, and that can be nausea, vomiting, uh, headaches, fever, and even anaphylaxis, which is uh, a systemic uh, allergic reaction which can cause you to, to, to stop breathing. Sometimes they can even leave a gnarly scar. As for Carl, he's learned his lesson the hard way. I just know one thing, if I see him, I go the other direction. <laughs> the good news is with colder weather just around the corner, experts say these caterpillars won't be lurking in the area as much. Reporting in downtown New Orleans, Natalie He, WDSU News. From that to this.